Hello everyone and welcome to another video tutorial. Today we are going to learn how to create remarketing audiences on Meta Ads. So first things first, we are going to go to our Facebook Business Manager or Facebook Business Suite. So meaning business.facebook.com. If you don't have a Business Manager account or a Business Suite, please create one. Then you will be able to follow through or all the next steps. The next thing you need to do now is you need to click here on the hamburger menu on the top left, all tools, and you need to find the option that is called audiences, right? So if you can't see the option coming under basically the shortcuts, I want you to scroll down and click here on audiences under advertise. Before we continue, please make sure that you subscribe and you like. It really helps us tremendously to create new content. And assuming that you did that and you are already subscribed, let's continue. And I'm going to tell you how to create a remarketing audience. So we're going to go to audiences here. And once we go to audiences, then we're going to reach this screen here. And what we want to do in this screen is we need to click on create a custom audience. So let me actually go to an account that I fully own myself. So to give you a better example. So here we go. So once we reach the screen, then we are going to click on create an audience. So we're going to select custom audience. And once we select custom audience, the next option that we're going to select is under your sources. We're going to click on website. A prerequisite in order to create a meta ads remarketing audience, you need to have the meta pixel or what was called the Facebook pixel installed on all the pages of your website. This is a prerequisite. We also have videos on how to install the meta pixel on all the pages of your website. So if this is not something you have in place, go and get it done. So now we're going to click on website. We're going to click on next. And we're going to say we want to include basically in this custom audience, audiences who meet you need to change this from any to all the following criteria. So what are the criteria? We're going to select the pixel, the pixel that is on your website. And then from here, there are two ways to actually create an audience. Number one is to use existing events. If you already track events, you can say, I want basically to create an audience based on people who took certain action on our website or the easiest way is to actually click here under events and say people who visit these specific web pages. So a remarketing audience works as follows. We are going to say that we want, for example, to create a remarketing audience of people who visited, let's say, my homepage or any page in my website that contains, for example, my URL. So people who visited any page in my website. And then we're going to say, and also at the same time, people didn't visit a URL that contains, for example, slash contact. So this remarketing audience here is relevant to people who came to my website, visited any page within the last 30 days. This is what retention refers to. You can actually change the retention up to, you can go up to 180 days. Or you can say, for example, I want to remember people for seven days. This depends on how long you feel your customer journey is. And then you give your conditions. People who, let's say, visited any page of your website, but not your contact page. People who visited your website, but not your pricing page. People who visited your website, but didn't add to cart. They didn't go to the cart page. People who added to cart, but didn't buy. They didn't go to the thank you page. So you create the audience, you give the conditions that you like, then you give your audience a name. So I'm going to call this the marketing audience didn't visit contact, didn't visit contact page. And then we're going to click on create the audience and that's it. So now we have this audience created. How can you use this audience now, right? So I want to, let's say, use this audience for my campaigns we are going to go to our ads manager. And once we go to our ads manager, let me actually start a campaign from scratch. So let's say we start a campaign. Now, 
I'm just going to select traffic as an objective because that's an example. And now I'm building this campaign. And when the time comes for me to go down to the ad set level and select the targeting of my ad set, then under custom audience, I'm going to click here on this box and I'm going to find the audience that I created. Here it is, remarketing audience didn't visit contact page. And I'm going to select this audience and this audience becomes now my targeting. And that's how you can use a remarketing audience. That's how this remarketing audience becomes your campaign's targeting. Can you overlay more criteria, for example, location, age group, or even let's say interest? You can do that. Obviously, location and perhaps age group is useful. I wouldn't advise you to overlay criteria that are relevant to, let's say, interest, because then it beats the purpose of remarketing. And that's how you can create a remarketing audience in Meta Ads and also how you can use this remarketing audience in Meta Ads. If you like this video and you are able to now do the same for your website, please subscribe and like. It helps us tremendously to create new content. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day in any time zone. Hi, everyone.